Oh, hold up. No, no, no. Wait. Uh, you know. E. My excellent connection. Okay. Uh, is this it? Are we good? I think this is good. All right. <laughs> there it goes. Pretty sure this is working now. It likes to buffer, which is unfortunate. Well, maybe I might need to change a little bit of this here. Let's see here. If I add Let's see here. Okay, that's good. Cool. We're on a five second delay. Open brick rigs. And let's get to it. So, um, no, oh, don't tell me it's updating. Okay, it's not good. Thank goodness. Okay, let's see here. I should probably plug in some headphones so we don't get a funny echo. Because that sounds like something I don't want. Do I even have... I have sound on, right? All right. There we go. There we are, so let's just, uh, let's go for it. So first step is going to be making the wings. Well, I guess first step is going to be making a suitable, oops, a suitable cockpit. So let's just start with this. Let me get out of here. Okay, and then we're going to put a chair on it. So now, really the first step is, is going to be seeing if we can, if like it's even possible to move you, yourself up with this type of method. So, get some of that going. Right, so there's our basic wings. We're going to apply large flaps to them because we can do that. And then both of these are going to be, I guess, seeking. And that's the maximum. So we're actually going to have this go, let's say, 45 degrees up and negative one. They're both going to be, let's go with throttle and then give them 45 degrees in either direction. Okay, they clearly need to be a lot faster than that, though. 10, and then we're going to want to make this base quite a bit heavier than that. Um, so aluminum, and then make everything else out of foam. Just so we can really make sure that it's not just the momentum moving it around. 
right? And then maybe a little bit of a, a stand so we're not on the ground. So this test shows me a couple of things. Number one, having things moving around like that is going to be a huge problem um, in terms of like the actual vehicle moving without the airflow. So let's see what we can do about this. So a big part of the ornithopter is it's got to have more of a stroke going down than going up. So what we could do is when we have it go down, it would extend out an extra wing piece. And then when it goes up, it's actually not extending out an extra wing piece. So how we're going to do that is I think like this. So we can just put this here, copy that over there, and then that should Okay, so we might need to actually have this be a different. Yeah, so we're gonna need to, we're gonna set this to steering for now, so I can independently control the different joints on it, All right? And ten is too fast, clearly, because um, it really just shakes the vehicle around more than actually producing lift. So we're just gonna give it that for now. And then we're also going to add some wonderful flaps here. So like that. Now it is shaking around quite a lot, so I don't know if we'll gain any altitude doing this, but you can see it jumps a little bit. So clearly we're getting somewhere. The problem is that the flaps and the actuators themselves are just so unstable that it makes it really hard to do this kind of thing. So let's move in this stuff a little bit. We might actually, something we might try is we might try to actually move these to a default 45 degree down position. And that would actually help with the, uh, the actual stroke. Because if it's already 45 degrees down, and oh, hold up. Let's just see how this works first. Yeah, see when you pull it up like that, it wants to shake itself apart because the vehicle's just too light. So what I might do is I might make this be a steel piece right here, just for the weight. We'll see how that works out. Because these flaps kind of command a lot of movement, so. You can see it's already trying to shake itself to pieces just with that. This does not exactly give me hope for the project, but we'll just have to try and move it fast enough. Now the problem is that we really just don't have a whole lot of lift here um, for a frame. I mean, the frame is not going to be like this. So, in fact, we should probably just start over, start around a seat, All right? And then we're going to go up. So, I'm going to grab a 2x2 two two panel, and then the, the heaviest material we're probably going to want is just going to be carbon fiber, right? Because this thing's got to be really light if this is going to work. And I really do want it to work, so.
Let's see if we can make that happen. Another thing we could try. Um, hmm. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, okay, let's try that. So, if we make a system where when it's when the actual wing is going down, it's got a different angle of attack, then we could potentially generate positive lift by just rotating it up and down. So let's try something like that. Alright, so we're going to get some actuators. These ones, yeah, those will do well. Get some of this. Hmm, so what we could do is we can actually move these out out here, right? And then we can take a flat, right? And have that go back here. And then move that there. So that way we can get a... Well, actually, I don't think it has to be so far apart, so we can probably just grab that move it in here. Right? And then the, from here, we get two one-by-one one actuators. Right. And then we can copy those over here. Then if we put a piece, well, yeah, if we put Oh no, that's why I was putting these further out. Sorry, I am not on top of it today. So if we put these out here, that will allow us to have get these out of the way. So what we can do, we can put a little arm on here, which will give our our wings a little bit more of a travel to them. So, right, and then we'll get these, put these up on there. Right, so we got that. And then we can put a bar across Actually, let's make all this wood real quick, just because it'll be a lot lighter that way. All right, and it'll look better. And then we can get all of these to go... Yeah, let's just have them be continuous, and we'll go action one, so I can just click the trigger and it'll work. Action one. Now, this could be an interesting form of locomotion all on its own. Uh, kind of. Okay, well, we've created a really intense actuator glitch. Um, not intentionally, of course, but uh, that's interesting. So, what did I do wrong? Oh, yeah, these need to all be physics-driven. And then we can actually make two of these physics-driven as well. Uh, so we can just do that here, like that. Now this should work. So we're just going to god mode it for now. And this is the kind of motion. Now, this could make a really cool walker design, kind of. Oh, okay, clearly those need to both be... Well, actually, that could work. 
let's see, if we speed this up, right? Well, let's negative 10. Give that 10. If we speed this up, I wonder what'll happen. I like how this is yeah, we could we could work with this. So now we just need to find a way for the the flaps to get more actual lift and forward motion out of the forward stroke. So what we can do let's just try this for now. You can bring this up and mount that here. Right? So it sort of leans forward in our design. And then we can take this, put that there. Now if I angle this down, so always on should have it angled down, I think. Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, so we need to have both those driven, that's for sure. So this one can be... Ten. Ten. Negative ten. Wait, are these moving in opposite directions? Well, that's interesting. Uh, that actually could be useful to us. Because if you look at it as it's moving... Hold up, let's put this in slow-mo so we can see what's going on. That's weird. Because those should be going in the same direction, but they're not. They start out going in the same direction, too. So what's up? What's up with that? Is it just because they're going so fast? It might be. So if I can also have... These... If I can have these actually control their angle on the downslope, then we should actually be good. So, yeah, let's see here. I, I'll probably want to reduce the speed because otherwise it has that weird reverse thing, which I thought might be useful, but it turns out is actually not what we really need. So now if I put a sensor, uh, let's see here, here, control, sensor. If I put a sensor there, and it's a yaw sensor, Right, it'll tell me where that's at. And then So for this for the downstroke it'll be well, let's just put it to input one here first so we can actually see what it's doing. Custom Alright. Well I guess I didn't really set the parameters for that, did I? Nope, I did not. So now, so because that, let's see here. Look at that! We're getting somewhere. So now, I think it's time to ramp the speed up again, because of course it is. Uh, so now we're going to go for negative 10. Or actually, Hold up, no. We, we're just going to go with bigger wings. Bigger wings first. If I indeed did this right. Uh, okay, so then if I flip that, I can put in negative one, right? Yeah, I can. Okay. So now... I could do a little bit of magic. 
here. Right, much bigger wings. Look at that. Now we are going, we're turning around, which is not exactly what we want. So what we need is a tail now, and maybe not so much flap, because these are kind of huge. So, oh yeah, I also need to make these out of stronger materials, so that they can actually decide to work. Because they, they work a lot better when they're, okay, nice, nicely done. These should all be on the correct things, so I'm not really sure what's going on here. Let's, well, let's, first of all, let's move me to the middle, about, all right, we're still gonna move it forward. That'll help the whole thing balance a bit, and then we're not gonna want this wing angle to be quite so intense, so we're just gonna go for, like, 12, 12 degrees, that sounds good. I wonder how, I'm gonna check on the stream real quick, see how it's doing. Oh, we've got, okay, no, sorry. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't know how my, how's my stream? All right. I wish there was like intelligent buffering or something, but yeah. Okay, well, let's see here. All right, let's go back to it. Okay, so that's irritating, to say the least. Um, mm, you know what I can do? If I move these out one more, then I grab this. Right. Uh -huh. And then I take all of this and I can move it further out to there. Yeah, and then I can extend this out. And here we go. And then I can copy one of these units. and put it on a different place, like, uh, actually I might just, yeah, there, so let's actually get this out to 10. Perfect, and then we'll put on another one here, actually. Well, no, wait, we'll, we'll copy this whole wing, so we'll go like that, so that should be all of it. Yep, it is, and then we'll put that on there. And there we have it, so now let's see and it has decided to leave this astral plane. Nice. Yeah, see the problem here is that the actual wing itself gets out of sync. So what I might try and do is, no, I might need to actually just take a look at what's going on better. Okay, so when it gets to there, they just can't hold it. It gets all glitched out. Yes, we get some weird behavior from them. 
Well, that's annoying. So what I might have to end up doing is I might just have to end up scrapping this dual actuator design. Or, or at least the multiple like waves of actuators. So I think what I'll start do to start is just to delete these wings because um, we don't need them really. And then just kind of delete all this other stuff. Right, so we can kind of get rid of this. And then get rid of that. Collect these. Actually, we'd only need one of these, really. And then get rid of those. Don't need that, or that, or that. So now we can take these, move them here, and then we can actually just take another one of these and move it up. So, like that. There we go. And that should, if they rotate the same way, it should keep the wing level. And then should also rotate it with the rest of it. So now I'll make a tail for it because this is going to be more unstable than before. So we're going to add a flat fan tail just to make sure that we kind of keep to the ornithopter theme. Let's go with the 12 actually. There we go. The whole point of an ornithopter is to fly like a bird. So fan tail seems appropriate. Yes, we'll just sort of. There's our bird tail. Oh. Okay, I did something wrong. Yeah, I did something wrong. Okay, that's not how that's supposed to work. These have got to go negative, so that'll be negative 5 and negative 5. Wait a minute. Hold the weight up. Uh, um, then, no, that was right. That one was right. Right, okay, so. I think what we'll need is a little bit faster rotation. And I don't know if we need quite as big of a stroke on that, so what we might do is we might lag the game. <laughs> what we might do is we might just take out these and then move these down. Because we don't really need all that much here. So just sort of stick it there. And then We'll speed them up a little bit. So, negative uh, eight, I guess. We'll go with eight. And then eight for these. And notice how I'm going across um, to highlight these just because that they'll be moving in opposite directions. So, and God mode because. Okay, we're getting a little bit of movement. We're not getting a whole lot of lift, so I might just bring it all the way up to 10. And then give these a bit more of an angle. So we'll give them 
20 degrees, that sounds good. 20. Look at that. We lifted off. For a second, it was there. So what we might do is we might have this forward edge have more bite on the downward swing. So we might just give it more bite generally. So let's go for 40 and 40 and see how that works out. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Now we might need more wings to properly do this. So and we also might add some more actuators to properly support this. So we can do that really quick actually. Basically what we do is we just copy our previous thing, which would be this, right? And then we just copy it over there. Alright, and that's one from the end. And we can do the same for this side. Alright, and then we can actually put down a plate and run it across so that we get a little bit more stability in that and they don't flop around so much. Although we'll we'll have to see if this just glitches through everything and makes life awful, <laughs> which is highly possible. Actually, what we might do, if we're going to do this, we might just extend the support right through the middle so it has the minimal clipping. Yeah, that'll, be, that'll probably be for the best. So we'll just put that here. And that should get us right through. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go with a shorter piece just to just to be nice. Eight, yeah, there we go. And then we can put down a corner piece here, like that. And that should be the minimal-ish, because then we won't have the double actuator parts clipping together. And then we can make the wings, consequently, a bit longer. Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> All right, our tail is not up to the challenge, apparently, so we might have to extend that out a bit further. like that and then we need less force so we can just use the same amount here to actually stabilize this we might need something that reacts faster than the flaps though because as fast as the flaps are they're just not that fast Not to mention the fact that the sensor is not really calibrated that well, so what we might do is we might just take this, right, and then increase the thresholds by a bit and see what that does. Because this could make it a little bit smoother, give us a little bit more bite. So as we go down, oh, okay, thanks game for that little gem. Oh shoot, it does clip. Okay, so what we need to do, first of all, I'm pretty sure this is going the wrong way. So what we might do is just first fix all these. That would explain why these efforts may have been yet in vain, because I don't think those were correctly done. 
So we're going to try the opposite of that and see how that works out. Just to start, and then we're going to work on getting rid of that clipping issue. Because that will cause problems later if I actually get this off the ground properly. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of the same. But let's see what the slow-mo view tells us. Okay, well, it doesn't tell us that much because it kind of just decides that everything... Okay, if we're going to look at it in slow-mo, we got to fix that glitch. So, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to actually get this right in the middle, or it will not touch anything. So, that's going to be a bit hard to do. Um, shoot, I mean, it will connect in the middle, right? No, there's nothing to connect it in the middle. <clears throat> That's annoying. Okay, so what we might have to end up doing is supporting the end of the wing. Because if we do that, then we can actually get it to... Well, what am I doing? These are, these are eight, so I actually I can't do that. So let's just try a little bit of this. We'll get this out here. <laughs> we'll move you out here. And that's gone up a couple of studs. So what we might do is go up a couple of studs ourselves. So now I think that Let's just take a look and see if that works. That's what slow mo say. Slow mo says that's a bit better. Notice how we're going at an angle now rather than just flopping around straight. So that means that's that's a good solution. So what we can do is we can just copy that over to the other side. And then grab this. And stick it right there. So that should solve most of that problem. Now they've got full support across their length, which is good. And now we need to figure out roll and how to keep this thing from flipping over because this tail is not doing it so maybe we could just add more tail because that tends to work just fine so oh yeah that's <laughs> I forget myself let's see so we seem to just be going up which is not entirely what I want so I might move this whole assembly back or move the seat unit forward. Let's try moving the seat forward. Since we've got a, a lot of weight back there with the tail, well, not a lot, but enough. Let's see if I move that forward and make the seat out of steel. Let's see if that balances this properly. Well, that falls apart properly. <laughs> so... We're looking at kind of meh results. You can see it, we're keeping off the ground, but that might just be because we're running into it. So let's try, if we add more flaps, we might be able to get this to work. So if we move this stuff back here, right, and then we just add more flaps here. Dude, birds are really, really awesome because they can just do this and they don't have to design some Da Vincian contraption to make it work. Look at that, we're, we're doing okay. 
Now, if we could get tail control, that would be good. So, and I'm also going to set all of these to actually be throttle so that we can actually just keep an eye on them. Or maybe, because like, let's see if throttle actually ends up working. So I know throttle goes back and forth, so. Yeah, throttle will work. That's good to know. And then we can also actually go backwards, which is cool. So that's good. And then we're going to want <clears throat> some steering here. Although, actually, hold up. We're going to want this alt throttle so we can actually fly this proper. And then these are going to be alt view, or not view, but... Alt view pitch accumulated. And then we're going to probably just take one or two of these out here on the edge. Yeah, these two. And then make them our roll flaps. Um, I did that wrong. <laughs> okay. Keep in mind, I don't do this for a living, or I would be starving. <laughs> um, let's see here. That should be right, and then I think this one goes negative. I did this wrong completely, didn't I? I, yeah, they're still set to, oh, I'm not the brightest human on the planet, by the way. There we go, that should work. Okay, not like that. And then our roll. That's opposite of what I want it to be. Right, I should not be highlighting both of those. <laughs> I'm a dingus. All right, so that should be good, right? Yes, that should work. And then we're probably going to want to put some wheels on this, actually, so that we get some some wheel action going. Um. Mm. I was about to laugh because I'd made a pun, and then I decided against it. But now I'm explaining, so you basically know that I'm cringe already. Well, let's put some wheels on it. <laughs> before I lose all face and abandon the project. Okay. This plane's got no engine. Whoa, that's cool. That's a thumbnail. Clickbait title. Maybe I should have that be 45 degrees offset. I don't know if that'll actually work. Hold up. <laughs> Let's go for that. Yeah, yeah. 20, or just 20. Let's see if that works. Let's see if that works the way I want it to. Yeah. 
Well, that's glitching into things, so let's... Yeah, well, oops, that's not a good idea. Let's see if we can make this not glitch into things by removing these wheels. Because now it won't hit anything. There we are! Look at that! Okay, we're not in god mode, so let's try that. Oh my gosh, are we are we gonna leave the ground? No, we're not gonna leave the ground. I don't have enough lift. <laughs> Go figure. That's a crazy revelation, Evan. That's never happened before. I know, that's totally insane. with it out even further, surely nothing could go wrong. And of course this is backwards because, well, one of them is backwards. This one is backwards. So if I do do, there we go. Now let's see if our horrible contraption will work. No, it wants to kill the universe. Um, gosh, what have I done? Let's see what slow-mo says. Okay, slow-mo says you get out of your seat very slow. Um, so clearly we're still dealing with that glitch, which is no good. Uh, huh, well, let's look at this side. So on the way down, it goes down. On the way up, it goes up. That's not exactly what I want, is it? So what I really want to do is I want to limit the upward motion. So it's just it just cups downwards on the downstroke. Or no. I would want it to go. On the downstroke, I'd want it to go I'd want it to be straight. Kind of. Let's see here. Um confusing myself all the time, so don't worry about it. Uh, let's go. <clears throat> so now we're going to go for so negative, that'll be this one. And on that, we want it to go down 20 degrees, and then, or no, we want it to go down 30. Let's go with 30. And then there we're going to have it go down to 10. Oh, that's a problem. I didn't think about this, but this little sensor here, it's not just going to be detecting its angle. It's also going to be detecting the angle of the entire vehicle. I should have thought about that. Uh, well, one thing I can do to fix that is actually to put this on a gyro stabilized mount that I can put somewhere. So we're just going to take this, right? We could, we could put it back here if we really wanted to. It doesn't really have to be anywhere specific. But what the idea is that we get one actuator that will cancel out the actual roll of the aircraft itself. So that'll be this one. Right? And then we'll make that into aluminum. And this will be on channel 2, custom, and we're going to put that here, and it gets a little corner piece here, and go up with that, there, put that there. So that should not clip into anything. And then this will be sensing the rotation 
this will be keeping it from rotating. So grab a sensor. We should probably make this aluminum to counterweight that just so it doesn't do weird things. The two, this is going to be a roll sensor. <coughs> and that's going to be negative 180 and 180. Now this is probably going to be a bad idea, but let's just try and see, see if this works. Just on a hill or something, like, yeah, we'll just, there. So, oh, it's too slow. Okay, let me, <laughs> let's see here. Ten. So if I put it on a hill here, and it rolls down the hill, it's rolling in the wrong direction. So if I drive it off a building, or hold up. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Oh. Oh my. Okay. Well, that's a problem. We need actually that to be... Oh, uh, that's... Yeah, that's dumb. Past 90 degrees, it won't really matter, so we can just put in 90 and 90. Um, and then put in this for 90, 90, there you go. So now that should be about right. So if we drive this off a building again. Okay, well, we clearly need something from keeping the front from lifting. And I think that's going to be just some flaps, either that or I move the chair again, which might be a better option here. So let's try that. Hey, look at that. We're off the ground. The uh, actual roll is not doing so hot, but that's probably because we got like no speed right now. So what we really need is just to have these. Well, let's make the bottom ones cup more on the downstroke. Because if we can do that, then we can actually increase our speed by a lot. <clears throat> so we're going to have to go from 30 to... Let's go to 60 to hell with it. <laughs> let's just let's just do it. Okay. And... Okay, something broke. Something broke. Why did that got broke? Okay, if it leans back at all, it just falls and it dies. So this, hmm. see here. You know what would be simpler than this? Than this whole sensor setup? A physics actuator. I know that sounds dangerous and it is dangerous, but it would simplify this mechanism very much. Wouldn't need aluminum for this. It could just be wood. All of it. Physics driven. Then we just dangle this pretty much.
and then we could put a counterweight on the other side here and then just make this do nothing like ooh, look at that and it's off <laughs> just to make sure we don't mess with anything and then we can put a heavy something on the bottom unfortunately this will require a uh, counterweight on the other side I think but we should be fine in terms of as long as we just put a piece over here, leaning out like that, we should be fine. Like, that'll probably work just fine. Oh gosh, that swings around way too much. Let's go with a spring instead. Spring, and it's... okay, I don't know. Spring strength like 0.1. It's just at least enough to stop it from flopping. Okay, let's see if this intersects with our little device here. Uh, a little bit, so we should probably fix that. So once you once you get a basic design down in this game, it's mostly just tweaking things until they you know, work correctly. So that involves a lot of going back and forth from the editor, really, and that's about it, actually. So now we're going to want to make... Oh yeah, putting the weight back there is also going to make the front too light. So we're just going to put a gold bar or two up here. Let's put them right on the edge of the seat there, so that'll work. Perfect. And now, let's see. Let's 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 do it. Okay, we're just going backwards. Shoot. I think that had a little bit too much bite to it. We'll see here. Let's let's just try making these a little bit less of an angle. So like 40 degrees, that's 20 degrees less, so it should be a bit noticeable if that's the problem. Okay, and then as for the roll, I know how to fix this. We just need to have these go straight 90 degrees up and down, and that will just completely cancel out a large portion of their lift, so. Yeah, that will that will work with this kind of design. It wouldn't really work with aircraft, because 90 degrees is kind of like a lot. But... Oh, actually, hold up. So if I get one of them to go down, and then the... Actually, we don't want 90 in both directions. We want... Because that's thinking like... That's thinking like a regular airplane. This is completely different. So what we actually want is it to only go down. Because if it goes up, that's what we want. Because then it'll actually give one side more lift. Unfortunately, it appears that most of our forward momentum has been robbed. So, <clears throat> what if I put the wings at an angle? Like just the whole wing. Well, first of all, I gotta minus these out here. Because with the way I have it set up, it is opposite currently. So if I do that, and then I'm going to take these here, and we're going to actually just hide these so that I can select what I want, which would be all the wing. So there we go, and then 
unhide that, and now we're just going to tilt the wing, I guess, forward. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Okay. Maybe not that much. Like a couple degrees at most, really. Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, it's the different heights. Oh, shoot. Oh, I did not think about that at all. That would make this... Well, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. We've got God mode on our side, so... It certainly wants to do weird things. So... Hmm, this angle is good. I like this angle, but we just don't have the proper, well, actually, we're, we got to offset this as well. going on here. So what we need that should not be that way. No, we want the opposite of that. I'm dumb. <clears throat> Let's see here. That should do the trick, right? Yeah, because that'll produce more lift on that side. And then that side. Okay, so that's, that's in order. Now, as for the rest of it, We seem to be moving forward, but since we don't have... Let's just try flying it off a building. Okay, that angle is clearly not helping us leave the ground. Unfortunate that. Let's uh, remove the angle then. From all this, so... Okay, so let's try, <clears throat> let's just fly it off a building and see if that works out, because I'm, I don't know if I'm willing to stay with this for forever, really. There's a reason we don't use ornithopters today. Number one, because they'd be ridiculously com complex and unreliable. Number two, because there's all kinds of problems that we haven't worked out yet that we have with regular aircraft. So once I'm in the air, it looks like it flies okay. Uh, I don't exactly like this behavior it's doing here, but we're also not moving hardly at all. So see if we can 